There are seven wonders of the world, and each of them is deserving of a visit if you ever get the chance. But why do we only have seven original wonders when so many more human-made and natural structures are worthy of being included? How unusual are these rocks? From the Grand Canyon to the Golden Bridge, here are 15 landmarks that deserve to be called the eighth wonder of the world. Number 15. The Devil's Marbles The Devil's Marbles may sound ominous, but they're not as scary as they might sound. They may even be a landmark that you would think could be the newest wonder of the world. They're located 65 miles from Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory of Australia in the Carlu Carlu or Devil's Marbles Conservation Reserve. Carlu Carlu translates to round boulders and is an aboriginal term. The name Devil's Marbles, though, came from Scottish-Australian explorer John Ross. He surveyed the area in 1870 and termed it Devil's Country. The boulders may not look like anything special, but they are. They are spiritually and culturally significant to Aboriginal people, the traditional owners. The traditional story for their formation is quite interesting. An ancient ancestor called Arrange made a hair belt, which is a traditional accessory worn by Aboriginal men. As he twisted the hair into the belt, some hair dropped on the ground to form boulders. Arrange then spat on the ground to create the reserve running through them. The granite boulders are primarily positioned on the western side of the reserve in a desert valley. They range in size from around 20 inches to 20 feet. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Karakoram Highway The Karakoram Highway is often given the title of the world's eighth wonder, and we're not surprised. It's a beautiful road, and one that's also the highest paved international road ever made. Because of its elevation, which reaches 15,466 feet at one point, it was exceptionally challenging to build. It ended up taking 20 years and spans 800 miles from Pakistan's Abbottabad to China's Kashgar. These two areas are connected through the Karakoram mountain ranges and have the highest border crossing globally, known as Kunjerab Pass. The highway was formed in 1979 and opened to the public six years later. Since it opened, it became a highlight on many travelers' itineraries, mainly as it allows you to see the world's best mountain ranges like the Hindu Kush, the Karakoram, and the Himalayas. As you travel along this 800-mile stretch of highway, you're also treated to a cultural experience. Dotted along the way are several regions consisting of various religious and ethnic groups. Expect to be treated to the best hospitality no matter where you stop for a break. Number 13. The Grand Canyon it's hard to believe that the Grand Canyon isn't already a wonder of the world. Anyone who has visited it is impressed by its sheer beauty, size, and magnitude. Even viewing pictures is enough to convince you that it's worthy of the title. The Grand Canyon is a steep-sided canyon near the Colorado River in Arizona. It's 277 miles long with a width of 18 miles and can be up to over a mile deep in some places. Both the canyon and its adjacent rim are set within national parks, national forests, and reservations. So when you visit the Grand Canyon, you can also explore the Grand Canyon National Park, the Kaibab National Forest, and more. Over 37,000 people visited the newly enshrined park in its first year. It is thought that the Grand Canyon, in all its beauty, took around 2 billion years to form. The Colorado River cut channels through rock layers, and the Colorado Plateau was uplifted. Recent studies show that the Colorado River gained its permanent course through the Grand Canyon around 6 million years ago. Then, for thousands of years, the area was inhabited by Native Americans who built small settlements within the many caves existing in the area. 
Number 12. The Palm Island in Dubai Just by looking at any skyscraper in Dubai, you'll come to realize that this is an emirate and city that doesn't do anything by halves. Then you see the Palm Island and you come to understand that nothing is a barrier to their expansion, not even a lack of land. To increase their tourism market, the Palm Islands, which are three artificial islands on the coast of Dubai, were constructed. They were Palm Jumeirah, Daria Islands, and Palm Jebel Ali. Even today, they are some of the most ambitious engineering projects ever undertaken. Even though Palm Jumeirah is the only finished island, that shouldn't detract from how amazing these islands are. The plan was for all of them to have residential, leisure, and entertainment areas on them. Around 310 miles of non-public beaches would also be added to the city. The islands were formed from millions of tons of blasted rock, which was sourced from the Hajar Mountains. Millions of cubic tons of sand were also taken from the sea floor to form the island's upper parts. The finished island, Palm Jumeirah, took six years to complete and with a price tag of around $12 billion. It's now home to about 1,500 beachfront mansions and 6,000 more apartments in the tree trunk area. Number 11. Sigiriya Rock Fortress if you ever find yourself exploring Sri Lanka, then you won't want to miss out on visiting the Sigiriya Rock Fortress. It is one of the most visited tourist destinations there, and for good reason. The Sigiriya Rock Fortress, or the Lion Rock as it is also known, is a palace in the sky. It's situated in the central Matale district between Habarain and Dambulla, but you don't even have to get up close to see it, as it's 660 feet higher than any surrounding jungles in the area. As far as being deserving of being called the eighth wonder of the world, this rock fortress really is. It's one of eight World Heritage Sites in Sri Lanka and was officially declared the eighth wonder by UNESCO. But it's not just the rock fortress itself that captures your eye, it's the surrounding landscape. This ancient site has an extensive network of reservoirs and gardens, which are among the oldest globally. The next time you start planning a world adventure, make it a priority to include this beautiful fortress on your list of places to visit. Number 10. Lashan Giant Buddha If you have a passion for architectural history, then the Lashan Giant Buddha is bound to capture your interest. This statue of Maitreya, a stout monk, is positioned in the Sichuan province of China at the confluence of three rivers. In 1996, its location became a World Heritage Site. You might think that a statue wouldn't be deserving of a title such as Eighth Wonder of the World, but this statue is genuinely remarkable. It took over 90 years to carve, and thousands of workers were included in the project over these decades. Once it was finished, it stood at 233 feet tall with 27-foot-long fingers, a 30-foot instep, and a 79-foot shoulder. The intricate detailing of this Buddha statue is also impressive. In the Buddha's coiled hair, there are over 1,000 buns, and the 23-foot-long ears are carved out of wood and decorated with mud. This statue even has a drainage system with hidden channels and gutters to displace rainwater and keep the structure in good condition. That might be why it still remains in beautiful condition even after being built in 713 to 803 AD. Number 9. Meteora Monasteries The Meteora Monasteries in Greece are included on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Whether you see them in photos or have visited them in person, it will immediately become obvious why. They're just so beautiful and breathtaking and probably unlike anything you would have seen before. These monasteries are located a few miles from the town of Kalabaka. They are incredible rock formations that rise hundreds of feet into the air and helped form the most important monastic communities in Greece. 
degrees. Meteora means suspended in the air, and that's what these monasteries are. They are perched on steep rocks and contain wall paintings and priceless artifacts. Even though only six of the many monasteries are still active, there are plenty of monks and nuns that still reside in them. The largest and oldest of the monasteries is the Holy Monastery of Great Meteoron. It was founded around the middle of the 14th century and was built on the largest and greatest rock of the complex. It boasts spectacular architecture and a quaint courtyard. The Holy Monastery of Arlam is equally as impressive. It contains three churches, a room, and a water tank. However, he stayed there alone and the site was abandoned for around 200 years after his death. Now, you can reach this monastery by a bridge and it has a small museum. Number 8. Meenakshi Amman Temple India boasts a beautiful, rich, and vibrant history. That much is evident by the Meenakshi Amman Temple in Tamil Nadu's ancient city of Madurai. This temple is a symbol of religion and mythology and dates back around 2,500 years. You might think that something this old would be crumbling and in a state of disrepair, but the vibrancy and preservation of this unique structure will probably surprise you. It's covered in thousands of vibrant stone structures that depict gods, demons, and animals. It was built by Tamil Hindus from southeastern India and was first recorded in history around 600 AD. Today, it sees over 1 million visitors every year, especially for the 10-day Chitarai festival that celebrates the divine marriage between the Hindu goddess Parvati Meenakshi and the Hindu god Shiva Sundaraswara. The Hindus believe it to be one of the most significant events on Earth. Ancient Tamil literature states that the temple was built by survivors of Kumari Kandam, a lost mythical continent in the shape of a triangle that was thought to span the Indian Ocean. This continent's existence has been disproven, but it's still at the heart of Tamil culture. Number 7. Angkor Wat If any temple is deserving of being another wonder of the world, it's Angkor Wat the most iconic temple in Cambodia. Suryavarman II built the temple, and it's supposed to be the earthly representation of Mount Meru, which is the home of ancient gods and the Mount Olympus of Hindu faith. Because Cambodian god kings always wanted to outdo their ancestors with their structures, Angkor Wat is one of the world's largest religious buildings, with incredible size, symmetry, and scale. It's also the heart and soul of Cambodia, and has been in continuous use since it was built during the 12th century. There are so many extraordinary things about Angkor Wat that make it worth a visit. It has over 3,000 heavenly nymphs carved into the walls, and these have over three dozen different hairstyles. Cleaning with chemicals damaged many of these during the 1980s, but they're being restored over time. The level of detail in the decorations is also impressive. There's a 2,624-foot carving that depicts stories from mythology and historical events outside the central temple. The best part is, you can see these for yourself as the temple is open for modestly dressed visitors. Number 6. Ancient City of Bagan you could just visit one temple and be amazed, but why stop at one when you can see an entire city of temples? The ancient city of Bagan on the Irrawaddy River in Myanmar used to be home to over 13,000 temples built from the 9th century to the 13th century. These were all made out of brick and were spread out over dozens of miles. Even though many have been destroyed by natural disasters, time, or humans, there are still over 2,300 of them within a 40 square mile radius. Those who visit the temples are in awe of their beauty. It's quite a popular pastime for people to climb to the top of a temple pre-dawn and watch the sunrise. You can then view all the temples across the plain below. One of the most popular attractions in this city is the Golden Shwezagon Pagoda. It's an important Buddhist shrine and is covered with over 30,000 copper plates. One of the tallest in Bagan is the Thotbian Yu Temple. It was built in the 11th century and towers over the other temples. Number 5. Neutschwenstein Castle 
To look at Neutschwenstein Castle, you might think it's a mythical structure put together for a Disney film. It looks like something out of a fairy tale and doesn't even look real. Neutschwenstein Castle is very real, and it deserves to be called the eighth wonder of the world. It was built between 1869 and 1886 for King Ludwig II on a steep cliff against a mountain backdrop. It replicated 13th century Romanesque styling and required the input of many designers designers, artisans, and architects so that it would be built as the king wanted. Unfortunately, though, it took a lot longer to build than the king expected. The only way for it to be built in the time frame he wanted was for it to be worked on day and night. The foundation was laid in 1869, and the gateway building of the castle went up first. King Ludwig II wasn't able to move in until 1894, and then he died just two years later before the castle was even finished. Work stopped, and simplified versions of his initial requests were created at a later date. Number 4. Kremlin and Red Square the Kremlin in Moscow is a fortified complex that overlooks the Moskva River, St. Basil's Cathedral, Red Square, and Alexander Garden. You don't even have to visit it to realize that it could easily be one of the wonders of the world. The walled complex features towers, domed cathedrals, and palaces. Some of these date back to around 1156, but the site itself has been in use for far, far longer. The Kremlin rises above the Moscow River on Borovitsky Hill and is easily the center of the city. It has beautiful white stone walls that have been around since about 1367 and underwent a rebuild about a century later. During the Soviet era, the Kremlin became where the state's elite lived and worked. Today, it's still the official residence of the Russian Federation president. In saying that, access to many parts of the Kremlin is granted for people to explore the numerous cathedrals and museums within. The Kremlin is also positioned on the west side of the Red Square, which is a gathering place, marketplace, and festival ground. During the Soviet era, it was also used for displaying the military's superpower. Number 3. Hagia Sophia Something that is often called one of the world's great monuments is undoubtedly deserving of being called a wonder of the world. Hagia Sophia is a cathedral in Istanbul, Turkey, and it was built as a Christian church in the 6th century CE. It then became a mosque, a museum, and then a mosque once more in later centuries. Interestingly, the transition from being a Christian church to a mosque, then a museum, and back to a mosque reflects how religions have changed in the region. This alone makes it worthy of a visit. The cathedral took only six years to build, but it's a beautiful structure. It has a 105-foot central dome, three aisles with columns and galleries, and massive marble piers that rise up to support the dome. In 1935, it was converted into a museum and became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In 2020, a controversial decision was made to turn it back into a mosque. Soon after, Islamic prayers were held in the building and a curtain was put up to conceal the Christian imagery on the building. Number 2. Easter Island Heads most people who are interested in the history and culture of other countries would have heard of the Easter Island Heads. They are carved figures in the tropical South Pacific created by the Rapa Nui people. The heads, known as Maui monoliths, were carved from stone between 1100 and 1500 CE and have been eagerly visited for decades. But while we call them heads because they are, well, heads, did you know these heads actually have bodies? It was only in 2012 that photos of the bodies started circulating. Still, many people knew they existed around a century before. Archaeologists excavated two of the Easter Island's heads and revealed truncated waists and torsos that had been covered over time. Around half of the heads remain at Rano Raraku, which is the main Maui quarry, but hundreds were moved to stone platforms around the island's perimeter. They appear to be looking inland across their clan lands. Moving these heads would have been no easy feat either, as they measured up to around 33 feet high and weigh about 90.5. Four tons. Number 1. The Golden Gate Bridge 
The Golden Gate Bridge may not seem like the worthiest structure of being a wonder of the world. After all, it's not the oldest, nor is it the largest or the most creative. But there has to be a reason why it's one of the most photographed bridges in the world. It's hard to deny, this bridge is spectacular. It links California to San Francisco, carries US Route 101 and the Pacific Coast Highway, and has a pedestrian walkway. The bridge was finished in 1937 and, at that time, was the longest suspension bridge in the world as well as the tallest. It also came to be recognized as a symbol of progress and power for the United States and paved the way for suspension bridge designs in the future. The color was also worthy of note, for the orange vermilion color is not exactly a standard bridge shade. Consulting architect Irving Morrow came up with the idea of orange as it suited the surrounding scenery and was also visible to ships in the fog. At night, the bridge shines with a beautiful golden luminescence that reflects off the water. Isn't our world an amazing place? When you can slow down and enjoy our natural and human-made structures, you can see that there's so much for us to explore. If you had to choose the eighth wonder of the world, what would it be? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!